what's up YouTube, this is how to have flying objects around your scene for your music videos, just like the new snot video where they had flying tires. I've been doing this effect for years and it doesn't really take that long and it looks pretty sick so. Alright, let's get into it. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need Element 3D for After Effects. It's on a Video Copilot's website, I just recommend getting it because it's super easy and like uh, it's really a good beginner way to get into 3D. The next thing you want is you're going to need your 3D model. The best websites I like to use are CG Trader and Turbo Squid. All you have to do is just type in your model you want here. For my music video, I'm looking for diamonds, so I'm just going to type in diamonds. With the plugin, you can't use every 3D model you see, you have to use certain formats. And those formats are OBJ, and not a lot of people know this, but you can also use Cinema 4D files in Element 3D. So once you find the model you want to use, just go ahead and click download and save into wherever you want to save it. Alright, so now we're in After Effects. Here's the clip I'm going to use, and I'm going to have diamonds around the whole scene. First thing we need to do is we need to track the scene, so make sure your clip is selected, and open the Tracker tab. Mine is right here, but if yours is not right here, maybe just go to window and then make sure tracker is selected. Go to the tracker tab, make sure your clip is selected, and go ahead and click track camera. Now the way track camera works is by contrast, so let's say if you rec recorded your footage in log footage and it doesn't have a lot of contrast, it might not get a good track, or if you're really just shaky with the camera, you might really not get a good track. So this doesn't work with every scene, and this really just goes into um, more advanced tracking methods and whatnot. Alright, so once it finishes tracking your scene, you're going to have all these little dots around, and this looks like a good track. If you click on this advanced and you see this average error, the closer it is to zero, the better the track is, and pretty much I like to keep it around one, which is a good track. So the next step you need, you can create a ground plane and kind of do a lot of things with this, but I like to just keep it simple and just create a camera. And now once you create a camera, you're going to need to create a solid, so go right here, you just right click, new solid, it doesn't matter what color. And then after the solid has been created, go to your effects and presets, type in element, and then go ahead and drag that onto your solid. And then now in the effects is control, your element effects will come up, go ahead and click scene setup. This little window will pop up. Go ahead and click import, and then import the OBJ you just downloaded. Okay, so once you imported it, you can mess with the materials if you're object didn't have materials or you can change the materials whatever you want but I already did that so we can just move on so after you import it just go ahead and click OK and then you can see right here my little diamond is on the screen and in the middle and if we go actually go through the clip it's actually part of the scene so now we need to do is redo this step about 50 times no I'm just kidding we're gonna do it way easier so go ahead and go to your effect controls right here and it'll look like this at first, open group 1, and then right here where it says particle replicator, open that up, and right here where it says particle count, just go ahead and drag that up. Now once you see I do that, I'm going to have all these little diamonds spawning in, however your GPU can handle is up to you, or however many you want in the scene is up to you. Once you do that, you'll have all these little objects in the screen, but they're all bunched up. You need to go to replicator effects, and right here where it says scatter, open that up. And the first scatter, just go ahead and make that, and you're going to really want to crank that up to about 100, usually what I like to do. So I just type in 100, so if I look, now I have these diamonds in the scene. Now they're not too many, so I'm going to drag this down to 50, so we have more. Now if you look, they're kind of all bunched up right here, so I'm going to increase the Z scatter a little bit to about 50 as well. And increase the X scatter just so and I'll do the same for the Y. Actually no I won't. Just so they're more integrated in the scene. And look at that, we're pretty much already done, but this looks a little bit ugly. We can clean this up a little bit by adding some depth of field. So first thing we need to go to the 3D tracker camera, our camera that was created. Go ahead and double click that. And make sure enable depth of field is on. Click OK. And now you can see already, we already have depth of field. If you don't have depth of field, go ahead and go to your back to your element controls, go to render settings, and then under render settings, go ahead and click depth of field. It would be on preview blur, use continuous blur. All you need to do is just mess with these settings to see whatever you want in depth of field. You 
realistically we want the objects next to your subject to be in focus and the ones kind of farther away to be out of focus if that makes sense like this it's out of focus but he's in focus and like this is just randomly in focus we don't want that so we really need to mess with these settings to get it so this one's in focus there we go but now we need to get the Now if you're having trouble finding focus, instead of continuous square, you can use focus indicator. And all this redness is kind of shows you what's gonna be in focus and what's out of focus. And if you're still having trouble and you can't really find focus, all you need to do is increase the Z scatter so there's more depth to your objects, just like that. And if we look now, whatever that was not in focus is in focus you get what i'm saying so you see how it's kind of around him so kind of the farther away ones are out of focus and the ones close to him are in focus you want to blend in the scene as much as you can like that you can go one more step and rotoscope him and all my tutorials have rotoscoping in so you can just watch any of them or you can watch a rotoscope tutorial and then he'll blend in with the scene and you can have that this one on top of that and kind of sandwich the rotoscope to make it blend more. All right, that's it. Make sure you guys subscribe, like for more tutorials. All right, peace out later.